I think the real challenge for business in town centres nowadays is online. Yes. I think it's e-retail. And if you talk to a lot of them, that's where the, the people who they're competing against isn't actually a big Tesco. So they've got a different product range. What they're competing with is the global market. Yeah. Wake Up To Business is your Get The Business Day Started program, coming from the country's top business shows, expos and networking events. Join us as we discuss today's business news, strategy and gain some tips from our panellists who might help you in your business today. Ed, I know you, are, you haven't got forever, so I just want one final thing, and I saw this one on um, oh, This Is Money website, and it was talking about um, whether out-of-town supermarkets should be taxed more for local business rates to bring that money back into the community to help high streets. Obviously, that's relevant to local businesses who have got retail shops. Your thoughts on that? Well, it's a, it's a, a very live debate because the local government association have, have decided they want to do that to help to help town centres. We've got um, one at uh, you know for this particular area for Kingston Montem. We've got a big Tesco's at uh, New Morn. They wanted to build another one on one of the main bypasses, which is the A3 around here as well. So, well, uh, what's your thoughts? Well, my thoughts is we've got to look at it seriously. I, I don't. Sure. I'm not going to give you a yes or no answer because I genuinely haven't looked at it. Yeah. I'm not trying to avoid it, but it, it's certainly something we should look at. What do you see as the issues? What? Well, well, there's a wider issue about business rates generally. Yeah. yeah. And uh, business rates are uh, uh, more difficult for small businesses than they are for larger businesses. And I've always felt that the business rate system doesn't work well enough for small businesses. And I'll give you two ways that this, this is the case. The first is that if you're in a high street, the bit of the uh, your shop that's nearest the high street is taxed at different higher levels than bits further back. So actually that is a in the favour of those businesses that have larger premises. Now you can have some small businesses have larger presences too, so it's not just big versus small, but you tend to find that the businesses that have larger premises tend to be the bigger businesses. So the way the banding system works in business rates for the valuation is I think skewed against small businesses. Yeah. So that would be an area I would want to, to look at. So that needs a review? I think that needs yeah. to be looked at. And the other area is um, uh, unoccupied land. Yeah. So. Uh, I remember looking at some figures some time ago, so I'm not sure if they're up to date, but they show that in any in your, your average town or city, 10% of the land has been undeveloped. And of course that escapes any, uh, any business rate. And the question is, could you, uh, would, it, would it be a good idea, and we'd have to think about it, to expand the business rate base so more businesses are paying, and therefore you can reduce the overall poundage and cut the business rate bill. But what about this battle between the out-of-town supermarkets, the, the major supermarkets, and the, the independents on the high street? How do we sort that problem out? Could you not have an area in each town which was um, set aside for small independent retailers where the rate that they pay was, was lower per square foot or however it's measured um, and where they were it, almost like an incubation area for retail within the towns. But, uh, it's a very interesting idea. One of the uh, things that, that I've worked on with again cross party over the years is what's called business improvement districts, mm. BIDs. Yes, I'm involved with that um, already. And um, I was on the uh, as oppo opposition MP when uh, the last Labour government were putting this idea through. I was very in favour of it because it actually is an idea that comes from America and it's been proven to really help build up some of their business districts, not just for retail, but, but primarily for retail, but, but for other businesses too. And so it was a, a good American idea which you've now got. Um, and because I was so keen on it, I ensured that Kingston was the first one. So uh, our business improvement is called Kingston First because we were the first one. And uh, I was really keen to make sure our businesses took advantage of this. And I was really delighted to see we're now in our third business improvement district because the businesses, even though it's an excellent little bit of cost, so they haven't put some money in, they value it. And so it relates, can you explain a little bit what it is yeah. for people that haven't heard of it? Yeah, it's a, um, it's a vote that takes place, so yeah. it's, not, it's not imposed on people. You have to get a qualified majority of the local businesses yeah. uh, in a pre-agreed pre area, agreeing they'll pay a little bit extra on their rates, and that money won't go to the government, but it will go to a pot where a company, which they are members of, 
will decide how to use that money for the local area to promote business. And the idea was it was creating some collective money from business for business, mm. which they controlled. So they weren't dependent on the local authority. They can work in partnership with local authority, and the local authorities often have to pay money in because they have to pay business rates as well. Right. So they're often part of it. But they're still trying to compete against gigantic corporations who've got these out of town supermarkets. I mean, I use the out of town supermarkets, I use the, the high street shops. But the high street shops have definitely suffered because of it. So should there be some kind of changing of the rates, the rules, the taxes, whatever, to well, try and make it a bit more of a fair playing field? Do you know what? I, I actually think your the premise of your question is wrong. Okay. Because I, although I'm not saying there isn't an issue with out of town, I think the real challenge for business in town centres nowadays is online. Yeah. I think it's e-retail. And if you talk to a lot of them, that's where the, the people who they're competing against isn't actually a big Tesco's, because they've got a different product range. What they're competing with is the global market yeah, that's on the internet, yeah. Yeah. where you can have such niche product ranges. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very low overheads. Very overheads. Yeah. And what, what I'm finding, and um, I was involved in the, uh, the review of high streets actually, um, and uh, what we, we found through that process, um, from Maury, Mary Porters was part of that, was how do we help businesses in the e-retail age? How do we assist them? And I've got an idea. Yeah, yeah. yeah. One of the issues is, one of the things that people like John Lewis have done very successful is that they've got high street presence and online presence with distribution centres. What if in a town centre you could have a, an incubation area for small retailers where they're all independent and part of that is an online presence portal for them but with a distribution drop-in so you can collect. So like Argos, you've got catalogue, you can buy online but then you pick up from a distribution hub. Small retailers can't compete with that, but if you put a collaboration of retailers together where there's a back-end website and online ordering, the whole thing is in a portal in individual towns, so it's community-based, could be really, really interesting. Well, I, mean, I think it's really worth exploring. One of the things I did when I was uh, Minister for Post Offices and Royal Mail, uh, besides uh, getting the legislation to get private capital into Royal Mail, which it desperately needs, was we made po the post office network separate. And one of the, uh, if you look at the business plans they came up with and that we were pushing them on, is to try to get post offices to be places where people can pick up uh, parcels. For Absolutely. Yeah. Because at the moment, uh, you have to often go to a delivery office mm -hmm. for the Royal Mail, which is often it's a quite... a huge pain. Which is a pain. Huge if, pain. If you could go to your local post office... There's yeah. no parking there. You yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. So, so I, I think you would... You know, obviously, there's space issues and logistical mm -hmm. issues that have to be thought through. Um, but as long as the parcels are beneath a certain size, they're not... You know, not all yeah. really huge yeah. things, um, then it would seem to me a really good way. And I think it would, the, the sector of society would benefit most would be small businesses they would. who are trading on the internet the whole time yeah. and who want to know that there's places that their customers can pick parcels up yeah. and places where they can pick parcels up. Yeah. And if the post office network, which we've, we've saved effectively because it was really in, in dire straits, we've turned that around, I, I think that is a, one of the models for the future for them. Ed, we've kept you much longer than you should have done. Fantastic. You should have been networking these people. Sue, so thank you very much thank for joining you. us once again. My pleasure. Thanks, thank sir. you.